little bit about the CCC camp when it was actually set up and running and, and everything was going smoothly after everyone started getting here. What was a typical day like? Well, for me, uh, I didn't have nothing to do during the daytime except keep my uh, uh, supply tent uh, 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 in shape. I mean, I, had, I didn't know when the inspectors were coming. So I had to take and, and make sure that I had all that was on my list. Say, for instance, I had 20 blankets folded on, 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 on that. Well, somehow a blanket or two was missing. So I said, well, I gotta, I, I, I gotta make that blanket up because they're gonna count those blankets and see if I have it on my list. Mm -hmm. So what I do, I take one blanket and double it twice. And, and set it on, uh, on, on top of one another. So then when he'd count, he'd count one blanket twice, see? Or if I was only missing one, I was, it wasn't too bad. I'd put it in the middle somewhere. But if I was missing, you know, so I'd take it and, and put the double blanket on the bottom and put something else behind it and then lay the other blankets on and make it 20 and come out. And that's same uh, I had to do with sheets and pillowcases. I would uh, double, and he wouldn't know any better. He'd just go right on up, and one, two, three, four, five, you know, and he'd count, and they'd say, oh, you got everything. Everything's okay. But a lot of times I was missing stuff. So then when the, when the new guys would come in and the old guys going out, or some of them would go over the hill. So when, when they would go over the hill, uh, say, for instance, they'd only be in there two or three days, well, they'd go over the hill, they would leave her, their, their stuff. So they wouldn't be uh, noticed that whole day that they that, that they left because you didn't know when they got on the trucks or not. So they, every morning they'd get loaded up on trucks and they'd spread them all over the all over the place, building cabins, roads, and uh, building a dam and and the rock quarry and stuff like that. So they didn't uh, they didn't know if he was actually missing or not. Or maybe he would say, well, he'd get on a truck and when he'd get on a job, he'd just walk off the job and and go on home. See? So then I would take his clothes and, and uh, turn them in uh, as missing. So that I would be that much close ahead, or shoes, or whatever he had that he left. Blank. He had to leave the blankets and sheets, cause I, and, and one uh, one outfit. See, he had to leave that when they when they got discharged. The only thing they took with them is their shaving creams and stuff like that. But they had one uniform. If I was in the winter time, they took the winter clothes. If I was in the summer time, they took the summer clothes. But they had to turn one uniform in. So a lot of times they would turn, uh, like me and him would be together. Well, if I was leaving and he was staying, and I had a good pair of pants, and he wore the same size pants, I, and he had a bad pair of pants, so he'd give me his pants and I'd give him his pants. So we, uh, shoes, anything, like we used to trade. They'd trade one another mm -hmm. with, the, you know, with the clothes. So you just ran the supply. Yeah, so I just ran the supply, and, and the other guys would get on the, well, we'd have a roll call, and a lot of times when they'd come up in the roll call, they'd call a name, and that name wouldn't uh, come up. Well, what happened, he done went over the hill sometime during the night, you know. And escaped, ran away? Huh? Yeah, mm-hmm, oh. yeah. Is that common? Well, not too bad, but uh, a lot of them would, uh, youngsters, you know, like, uh, 17, 18 years old, we say we're teenagers, and they'd get homesick. A lot of them would just cry like babies. You know, they'd go under the cabin, and, and, and you hear something, you know, and here's a boy, 18, 19 years old, crying under there, you know. And one, uh, then you'd go and talk to him and say, what's the matter? He said, I miss my mom, I miss this, and I miss that, you know. And uh, it was kind of rough. It was just like going in a service, you know. But uh, there you had a little time. You know, you'd go to work and then you'd come back and clean up and then go get something to eat and that was it. And if you if your barracks was ready to go to the movie, well the best best they would have inspection every morning and if if your bed was messed up, you know, you didn't get to go no place. And if your bed was an excellent and your your, uh, your locker and everything, your clothes hanging was excellent, well your name was on the sheet that, that afternoon to go to movies that night. So every night you would go to movies. So that's how they did it. So they had roll call in the morning, and then they had they checked the, the quarters. They have yeah, they had roll call in in the morning every morning. The flag, 
the flagpole is still down there, and, and, and that, that's the only one I think that's still up. And, and uh, so uh, they'd have roll call, to, and then you run back into the barracks, get your mess kit, and get in line to uh, get something to eat. You'd go to the mess hall then? Yeah, we'd go to mess hall and get something to eat, and then they'd have maybe a half an hour to get straightened out again and get back into the uh, roll call again. And then uh, the sergeant or whoever it was would say, okay, you uh, go on this truck, you go on this truck, you go on this truck. So then uh, you know where you were supposed to go. So next morning you put in your note that you were on that sheet and that you got to get on a certain truck because you're going to the uh, a dam and you're going to work in a dam or you're going to go to camp four or five, wherever, you're going to work on building. So you put in your note, you know, that that's what you was going to do. Um, what kind of food did they feed you? Well, uh, <clears throat> the food was good, oh, really? and you had plenty of it. Yeah, I mean, they never run out of food. That was one thing that they did really do is provide food, and they had good cooks, uh, and <clears throat> and so uh, every Monday they would go to uh, Joe Edmonds. He was a, a cook's uh, chief. And, and he would go to Washington and he would get a truckload of uh, fresh vegetable. And he'd pretty near stay there all day and he'd get enough to carry him that whole uh, week of, you know, vegetables and meat and stuff. And the ice boxes we had, we had, well, I think they're all pretty near going except maybe Camp 2 is still in there. And we used to take it and put ice, they used to get 100 pounds of ice and very big cakes, a whole truckload and they'd put them up on top and they'd put all the vegetables and all that meat and stuff down down in the bottom. Mm -hmm. So they fed you pretty good, huh? Yeah, so that's one thing they did do is we really got fed. We, you know, I mean it was no uh, uh, hush or whatever, hash or whatever, you know, it was um, turkey and, and chicken and steaks and pork chops and bologna, hot dogs, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. 